Good morning. Actually, it's two in the afternoon, and I'm about to lose my sunlight. That's one thing I don't like about living here. This hillside blocks the daylight. Here it is, two o'clock, in about 20 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. It'll be in the shade, and the temperature will drop about 10 degrees. <laughs> And uh, today, though, man, what a pretty day. Look at behind me there. Blue sky, sunshine, pretty warm. And uh, I'm stuck fixing the thermostat on Cindy's truck today, which isn't a big job. It could have been a lot worse. They, they put it down in here where it's a little awkward to get to, but not as bad as some of them. And I'm all done with that, other than i got to pour the antifreeze back in. Now, I've had a couple of people uh, this last video or two that have asked, well, how come you don't chase coyotes? And why aren't you trapping for those? Well, it's the price. I mean, the <laughs> let, let's look, take a look at some of this stuff. So the trapper's post, January, February 2024 fur market report. Coyotes. Another one that if you're traveling to a buyer, call ahead to see if they want them. They're not selling for hardly anything. A couple of years ago, they were 100 bucks or more for the best of them. Uh, valuations on coyotes were set low last season to move existing inventory. Those prices will be lower this season because as of right now, there is little interest. I've talked to several buyers who aren't buying coyotes this season, especially east of the Mississippi River. Beaver. I keep hearing about beaver. The the prices <laughs> they're saying is a is a boom on beaver right now, and they catch everyone you can, and they're they're very excited about them and all this stuff. It says beaver. Internationally, Fur Harvesters of America is completely sold out of this article and demand is good. Expect good beaver to be in the $26 to $32 range to start with. Advances likely. All eyes are on uh, Fur Harvesters of America's March sale. Last season, better collections averaged $35 plus, and many experts are expected that the coming season for that this coming season as well. I will stand by what I said in my last report. When prices suddenly spike, I get nervous. I sell, I'd sell, i sell my beaver skins fast as an, a certain market until a certain market is established. Okay. Then we got... Then we got this one. This one is the January 2024 Fur Fish and Game. Let's see, where's the coyotes? We'll start with those. Coyotes. China and Europe will buy a moderate amount of the very best northern Montana Alberta type coyotes in the $45 to $55 range. Good extra heavy skins with white bellies and brownish backs will move in the $30 to $40 range. While nice puffy westerns with colored bellies from the best northeasterns move at $12 to $20. The semi, better semi-heavy goods will bring 10 to 12 while eastern, central, and southern coyotes might fetch $4 to $6 if you can find an interested buyer. Lower grade coyotes are worthless. Okay, so what you need there, lower grade coyotes are worthless and uh, they will buy a moderate amount. That means that not every coyote you catch is it even going to sell. The $30, that's the best you're going to get, most likely. Some of them will go for more, but on average, no. If they want them at all. Okay, beaver have been averaging $25 to $35. Uh, for ordinary collections, veteran traders es estimate 75 to 80 percent of all beaver caught going to the hatter market. So what does that mean? They're they're making these. They're making cowboy hats out of them. From what I've been hearing, uh, 
that TV show Yellowstone has kind of spiked sales on cowboy hats, and so everybody's looking for beaver right now. Um, okay, here's another one. This one came from December of last year for Fish and Game. Trappers are excited about beaver prices. Averages at $25 to $35. Should be possible and lower grades will bring good money. Uh, the felt industry, the hatter trade, is buying the fur and doesn't care about the leather. When fur is sheared off of the skins, this market will bounce along until there's too many skins for industry demands. Then a couple of then a surplus of products will cause prices to decline. As more beaver are trapped, more caster hits the market. So the caster price last year, year before, was roughly about a hundred dollars a pound. This year they're talking forty dollars a pound. So um Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Here's another one. The beaver. The, this is reminiscent of the early 1800s when the demand for beaver felt hats led to the exploration and settlements of North America. Almost all the beaver harvested harvest is being consumed by this in industry. Averages from 25 to 35 can be expected. So, it's a big boom. So it's a big boom, a, a, a fur gold rush of beaver, and tra trappers are excited, catch everyone you can, all that stuff. But is it really that great? Take a look at this. Okay, this is a fur market uh, report from 1950 to 1951. Okay, beaver. Very best, $34. That's for a really big one. A blanket beaver is extra, extra large. Okay, uh, a good size beaver at $30. The worst price is $8, which is pretty much what you're going to get right now today in 2024. So, let's see here. What does this say? Ask Mr. Know-It-All. How does one dollar compare in 1950 compared to 2024 with the inflation rate? According to Carbon Collective, one dollar in 1950 has the same purchasing power as twelve dollars and forty-eight cents in 2024. Over the 74 years, this is a change of eleven dollars and forty-eight cents. Okay, so. What does that work out to? Let's see, we got, what we got? We got $12.48. So, yeah, let's see here. So, we got $12.48. Back in 1950, one beaver was bringing them $374.40 compared to our prices today. Yeah, big fur rush, huh? <laughs> Let's go back even farther. This one... For market prices from 1922, beaver were also $30 in 1922. And I already looked this up a couple of years ago when I did this video, but it says the inflation rate of $1 in 1922 was the same as $16.12 in 2022. So, oh, let's go back to this and see what that works out to. Uh, let's see, $16.12 times 30. 
Back in 1922, they were getting paid $483.60 per beaver. Adjusted for inflation compared to our $30. So, back then you could make a decent living. Nowadays, you're really lucky just to pay for your gas, let alone to make any money. But we do these things because we're trappers. That's what we do. It's what we enjoy doing. <laughs> we're not going to get rich. These wolves, those are bringing good money just because of that foundation. They're wanting to, uh, they're wanting to thin down the numbers. The price of wolves, if you were to sell them, is roughly 150 to about 450. Some of them will bring a little bit more. Uh, red fox. There, you know, I can't see them. It's too dark in here. Those red fox over there. Let's see what the fur market report. I'll put this back. Red fox in uh, 1950 were four dollars and fifty cents which isn't very much but if you adjust for the inflation probably pretty comparable to what we're getting today uh, red fox looks like average about twenty bucks so yeah it's not <laughs> it's not what they're making it up to be anyway now that you're very depressed and not wanting to trap anymore have a great day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.